What's up guys? To continue on with our week of new videos every day, we have a little bit of an audience request. Julian asked if he could use our Arduino project with the OLED with his DIY battery projects to display voltage. Absolutely we can. To measure voltage with the Arduino, all we need to do is a simple voltage divider circuit and two resistors and we can measure any input voltage we want. A few years ago, I actually did a high altitude balloon mission right here on the channel. I'll link the playlist down below. Inside the payload module, I had to measure many variables such as temperature, altitude, and voltage on the battery so I could store everything to the SD card. And during my testing, I knew how the payload was gonna work when it went to near space. The good thing about Arduino is you can just reuse code that you've already used before. So we're going to copy and paste that in. We'll build the circuit and it'll be a real quick one. If you're new here, make sure you click a thumbs up on this and a subscribe if you like these videos. Let's go to the shop. Okay, on the bench, this is the simple little circuit we put together in previous videos. We have a nice OLED display and an Arduino Nano. We're going to go ahead and add some parts. To get this to work, we don't need much. We just need our voltage divider. So we'll grab some 10 kilo ohm resistors and we should be all set. Okay, we've done some very simple wiring. I know this looks like spaghetti soup, but it will make sense in the README and the code link down below. What we've done is we've gone ahead and put a 10 kilo ohm resistor from our positive rail to the middle here. We've tapped it off and then we've also gone from the other side of it to our negative rail. This is our voltage divider, nothing to it. We've taken this wire and gone over to analog zero. That's the one I've decided to use in the code. We've also gone ahead and hooked up our negative, our ground of our Arduino to the ground rail here and our positive, our V in or our raw, over to here. On the raw, I think you can go up to like 13 volts or something on the Arduino. It's kind of handy for feeding from batteries or monitoring batteries or whatever. So this way, now all I have to do is feed this side of the rail and feed this side of the rail as well. Positive, negative. If you're not familiar with a breadboard layout, don't worry, I have a breadboard video. I'll link it down below too and explains how this works. Trust me, it's easy once you get your brain around it. Okay, we're just going to use the benchtop power supply instead of a battery because, well, that's just a little bit easier right here and we can show you the results of what would happen if we had different voltage levels. I'm just going to go ahead and plug our negative in to the negative rail on this side and the positive over to the positive rail. And you'll notice we start drawing a little bit of current and with any luck, our OLED should come alive. Perfect! You can see in the background there, we're at 9.7 volts on the power supply and the Arduino is measuring 9.66, pretty close. We could trim that in the code if we wanted to and compensate a little bit, but we can go ahead and we can do a course measurement here and we can drop it down to 8.6, 8.3, 7.9, and you can see the Arduino does a pretty good job of keeping up. I, I might have actually left a delay in that code now that I'm watching it. Might have to fix that. But yeah, we can do battery voltage monitoring, no problem, easy peasy. We can multiple do multiple cells with multiple dividers and just switch between them in the OLED code, whatever you like. It is so easy. These microcontrollers are amazing and everything on this board is under 10 bucks. Pretty cool. We'll take a quick look at the code, but there's nothing to it. It's just a few lines, guys. Okay, quick look at the code, not much to it here. All the same comments that we had before, uh, added some information about the battery voltage monitoring. We're gonna use A0, like I mentioned. We're gonna use two 10 kilo ohm resistors, and here's a link to some information uh, in the forums where you can find more info. We added a few variables here. We've got reference voltage, battery pin, and that's gonna be A0, and then battery voltage. If we go down to the loop, all we did was add check bat, in the check bat function, there is not much to this. We're going to take an analog read of the battery pin. This is uh, gonna give us a result from zero to 1023. 
We're going to take that and divide it by 511 and we're going to multiply it by the reference voltage. Then this is going to give us our battery voltage. Nothing to it. The 1023 is the limit of the resolution on the analog to digital converter in the Arduino. Lots of information on the web. We won't go into it here, but now we have a functional voltmeter and we're all set. Hope you guys like these simple tutorials. Hope I uh, hope you enjoyed what I'm doing this week with a new video every week. They're all in playlists down below. Click a thumbs up if you like this. I'll see you next video. Cheers.